Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla and Talon Metals agree to terms for US nickel supply. Tesla Megapack added to Madonna in Supercharger in San Luis Obispo, California. Tesla Model Y avoids getting T-boned by showing its moose test prowess. And Tesla receives green light to build 2000 Model Y bodies at Gigafactory Berlin ahead of final approval. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has agreed to a nickel supply deal with Talon Metals, a Minnesota-based company. It is the first United States supply of nickel for the electric automaker. Little-known Talon Metals is traded in the OTC Markets Group and holds a valuation of around 332 million US dollars. Some terms of the deal are not public knowledge, according to Reuters, who initially reported the agreement. However, Tesla will buy 75,000 tons of nickel over six years, and Talon will also provide cobalt and iron ore to the electric automaker for its batteries. Additionally, the agreement may be extended for up to 12 months, following which Tesla has a right to terminate the agreement and Talon may elect to sell to other parties. This agreement is the start of an innovative partnership between Tesla and Talon for the responsible production of battery materials directly from the mine to the battery cathode. Talon is committed to meeting the highest standards of responsible production that is fully traceable and that has the lowest embedded CO2 footprint in the industry. Talon is excited to support Tesla's mission to accelerate the transition to renewable energy, CEO of Talon, Henry Van Ruyen said. The Talon team has taken an innovative approach to the discovery, development, and production of battery materials, including to permanently store carbon as part of mine operations, and the investigation of the novel extraction of battery materials, Drew Buglino, senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering at Tesla, said. Responsible sourcing of battery materials has long been a focus for Tesla, and this project has the promise to accelerate the production of sustainable energy products in North America," he added. In July 2020, Tesla CEO Elon Musk called upon mining companies to supply more nickel. Well, I'd just like to re-emphasize, any mining companies out there, please mine more nickel, okay? Musk asked. Wherever you are in the world, please mine more nickel, and don't wait for nickel to go back to some long some high point that you experienced some five years ago, or whatever. Go for efficiency, as environmentally friendly, nickel mining at high volume. Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period of time, if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. So hopefully, this message goes out to all mining companies," Musk added. Nickel has been sought after by Tesla since then, due to its environmental advantages over other rare earth metals that are used in electric car batteries. Tesla has also been in need of nickel, while the company still develops and builds its 4680 battery cell. Nickel is a key material that Tesla needs for its high-powered batteries, including the 4680 cells. The cells are currently in pilot production at the company's Cato Road facility in Fremont, California. Moving to the next update, Tesla Megapack added to Madonna in Supercharger in San Luis Obispo, California. The Tesla Supercharger at the Madonna Inn in San Luis Obispo, California, is getting an upgrade. A brand new Megapack has been installed at the site and is awaiting activation. According to photos of the recent installation, shared by Chad Booker, the Megapack has been installed behind the 18-stall V3 Supercharger. This new Megapack will benefit both Tesla and Tesla owners. With the massive battery, Tesla will be able to gather and store 3.1 megawatt hour of energy during off-peak times, like late at night and during the early morning hours when the cost of electricity is the cheapest. The automaker can then use that energy during peak periods instead of from the grid and avoid having to pay higher rates for electricity. This allows Tesla to save money and ultimately keep supercharger rates lower than they otherwise would be. It is also possible, but less likely, that Tesla could also use the Megapack to provide backup power to the superchargers in the event of a power outage. 
The San Luis Obispo Supercharger is no stranger to Megapacks. In 2019, Tesla brought it a mobile Megapack with connected superchargers to increase the number of available stations at the Madonna Inn during the busy Thanksgiving travel weekend. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model Y avoids getting T-boned by showing its moose test prowess. There are times on the road when it pays to have a vehicle with enough power and torque to evade a potentially serious and life-threatening accident. For a Tesla owner in China, this definitely was the case, as the all-electric crossover's instant torque and raw power allowed the vehicle to avoid what could very well have been a nasty accident. A clip of the near collision was posted on China-based video sharing website and later shared on other social media platforms, such as Twitter. The video was very brief at only a few seconds, but it clearly showed just how quickly the Model Y was able to avoid getting T-boned by a rather reckless crossover driver. Granted the fact that the Tesla was able to avoid the other vehicle was largely due to its driver's reflexes and focus, but the vehicle's stability at high speeds and its power are nothing to scoff at. A sudden swerving maneuver at high speeds could easily result in a car rolling over, after all, but the Model Y showed absolutely no difficulties in performing what could be described as a real-life application of the Moose test. The Moose test simulates how a vehicle responds to a sudden obstacle on the road, such as a literal moose. In the test, traffic cones are set up in an S-shape to simulate an obstacle, which drivers would then be tasked to avoid. Vehicles taking the Moose test would have to swerve quickly into an oncoming lane to avoid the obstacle before swerving back to avoid oncoming traffic without losing control. The nature of the test and its quick swerves have generally resulted in SUVs performing worse than sedans due to their high center of gravity. The Tesla Model 3 has aced the Moose test. But despite its higher ride height, the Tesla Model Y ended up acing the test as well during its evaluation by auto agency, KM77. The Model Y passed the Moose test with an entry speed of 51.6 miles per hour, putting it in the top tier of all categories. This was in no small part due to the Model Y's all-electric design, which makes the vehicle very difficult to roll, even when the vehicle does meet an accident. Moving to the last update, Tesla receives green light to build 2,000 Model Y bodies at Gigafactory Berlin, ahead of final approval. Tesla just received another preliminary approval for test production at Giga Berlin, instead of the final approval for the entire project the company has been waiting for. This means that production at the Tesla factory in Texas is likely to start before production in Germany. Tesla will be allowed to build another 2,000 Model Ys in Grunheed after the first 250 Model Ys from a previous pre-approval, according to the new document. Specifically, each of the 13 tool sets may produce 2,000 parts in the press shop. These parts may then be assembled in the body shop, painted in the paint shop, and also go through final assembly. However, the vehicles from the performance test may not be sold. According to reports, Tesla was not satisfied with the results of the first 250 Model Ys built in Grunheed and has therefore applied for another pre-approval for these 2,000 units in parallel to the final approval. The parts and bodies manufactured or joined in the course of the plant tests exhibit a deficient quality that deviates significantly from the plant specifications, the German Federal Environmental Agency also writes. According to the Brandenburg authorities, they have had all the necessary documents and expert opinions for the final approval since the week before Christmas. Since the pre-approval specifies an upper limit of 500 bodies per week for both the body shop and the paint shop, Tesla will therefore need at least four weeks to exhaust the quota. If the final approval arrives earlier and Tesla is satisfied with the vehicles built by then, series production of customer vehicles could start before the four weeks are up. In recent weeks, Model Y performance vehicles have been repeatedly photographed in a car park near the final assembly line, and some vehicles have also been spotted on a car transporter. At least one vehicle was reportedly taken to Norway for final winter testing. 
Tesla had originally planned to start production by the end of 2021, but now it's not clear what the new timeline is, though it is believed to be imminent. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.